Naltrexone, Naloxone, Narcan, Invisio, all of those drugs, they're opioid blockers. Uh, Narcan comes in a nasal spray. Naltrexone is a pill form. I believe it comes in 25 and 50 milligram tablets. What I recommend if you're an opiate addict, and by no way, shape, or form is this your only form of treatment, I am a big advocate for Vivitrol. What Vivitrol is, is think about Narcan, right? You give it to somebody, it reverses the effect of opiates. Problem with that is it has a very short half-life, meaning within 30 minutes, the opiate effect starts coming back. Vivitrol is a 30-day injectable form of naloxone or Narcan or Naltrexone, where basically once that injection goes in, it's a sustained release of naloxone in your body so that if you were to use opioids, it wouldn't take effect. The opioid blocker is in there already to prevent the opioids from working. Again, you have to be careful because if you're in untreated addiction and that's all you're using, there are many addicts and alcoholics, unfortunately, who are going to try to figure out how to beat the Vivitrol. Overdoses I have seen still can occur because they'll do so much dope to overcome the, uh, the Vivitrol that they can still overdose. It is a great layer of accountability. I think all treatment centers should give opioid addicts uh, an injection after arrival once they're past that 10 day grace period of last use. I always say it's like people who smoke cigarettes in jail. Why is it easier to quit cigarettes in jail than on the street? Because you don't have access to it. Your brain tells you it's not happening. It's the same thing with Vivitrol. When it's in there, it takes away a lot of the fight and it kind of uh, has you concede to, well, I can't get high anyway. I might as well listen to what these people say. Three, six months in, next thing you know, you're working your program and then per your doctor's instructions, you know, you either stay on or come off the Vivitrol.